messages coming out of Ukraine are certainly shaping the way the world reacts to this conflict, but uh, parents really do need to take care. This is the video President Zelensky played for U.S. lawmakers and the world today. Powerful images of what Russia has done to Ukraine in a matter of weeks. I think the videos are very difficult to watch, and yet we can't look away. Arik Burakovsky is assistant director of the Russia and Eurasia program at the Fletcher School at Tufts University. He says President Zelensky has proven himself an effective communicator. The government in Kiev has taken significant efforts to combat the disinformation coming from Russia. Burakovsky says these images are building political consensus and public support for Ukraine, but they can also be especially hard to process for our children. The first thing I would say, if children are not aware of the images and are not aware of what's happening, especially young children, I wouldn't necessarily bring it up. I would wait for children to bring it up. But if you know that they've been exposed to those images, you absolutely want to create a space for you and your child to be able to talk about that. Dr. Jessica Griffin of UMass Medical School advises parents to provide factual information that is developmentally appropriate and to rely on what she calls the three R's. Reassurance, reassure your children they are safe. Routine, keep daily and weekly family routines that helps remind kids they're safe and regulation making sure you're helping your kids regulate their emotions by relaxing exercising and talking it out and dr griffin also encourages parents to limit their kids exposure to these images coming out of ukraine best case scenario parents catch up on the news when the kids aren't in the room